Hey guys, Block Central here, and I am back with Forgotten Artifacts. This is an action role-playing hack and slash dungeon crawler powered by the engine platform. Now this game is currently in early pre-alpha access, so it is still heavily in development, but there is quite a bit to talk about, so we're not going to waste any time, we're going to hop right into it. Currently, the only way to get immediate access on Forgotten Artifacts is to get yourself a Discovery Chest. The chests are available directly on their website right now and give you access to the game immediately, as well as access to their upcoming Stampede event, along with four items of rare quality or better. All artifacts in the game that are of rare quality or better are engine non-fungible tokens and will be added directly into your engine wallet upon receiving them in the game. There are 6 total rarities in the game including commons which are not engine non-fungible tokens, including rare, epic, legendary, mythical, and transcendent, obviously getting more powerful as it goes up, and as you get further into the game to the higher floors and uh, you know stronger ones, you will be finding rare and rare items, and as soon as you complete the game and finish the dungeon raid, they will get added into your engine wallet within about 15 to 20 minutes and you will get to keep them. They will be your digital assets that you can trade, uh, sell, or melt down into their engine value. As I mentioned, this is a hack and slash RPG, so your primary objective is to fight increasingly difficult enemies while opening chests and trying to find rare loot and making it as far as you can in these dungeons from floor after floor trying to survive as long as you can and not to die. So currently, the only way to get items in this game is from the chest. The enemies do not drop anything, and the only things that I have found from the chest so far have been weapons as well as potions, uh, health potions and energy potions. Still not really sure what the energy potions are for. However, I'm assuming they will be adding different accessories down the line, so that'll be really cool once that happens. As you're progressing further and further into the higher levels of this game, the dungeons become bigger and more maze-like, the enemies become more powerful and harder to kill, and your health does not replenish. As you can see at the top, your inventory only contains 4 spaces, which means you can only have up to a mixture of 4 items and or potions. So if you have 3 legendary weapons that you want to keep with you, you can only have 1 extra potion in your inventory. So you need to make sure to raid all the chests that you can in the dungeons to look for as many potions as you can if you try to collect the most powerful and rarest quality weapons. Otherwise, you are going to lose while in the middle of searching for the exit, die, and lose all of your items in progress. And then you will have to restart from the first floor with no items besides the ones currently in your inventory and start again from fresh. So make sure to be careful when you are playing through and keep your inventory stocked with potions and anything that will help you stay alive while going through and battling these monsters. As I mentioned before, this game is still currently in pre-alpha access, which means there is much that is still under development and yet to be released. However, they plan on adding a lot of features down the line, such as enchanting and artifact boosts, as well as skills for such things as enchanting, along with the artifact museum to be able to go and check out the different artifacts discovered in the game, their rarity, and the quantity of them in the game. Some items might be one of one, some might be one of ten, hundred, thousand, etc. All are backed by engine, and there are 32,000 different items planned to be in the game. So there is going to be a lot for people to discover and play for a long time to come. So that's going to be really exciting. Any of the engine artifacts in this game that are in your wallet will show up in the game for you to equip to your character before you go out on the dungeon, such as this weapon that I am currently using. This is one of my rare swords that I got from the chest. It is in my engine wallet, however it is also in the game. I also found a rare bow while playing this game the other day, which showed up in my engine wallet roughly 15 minutes after I finished the dungeon, and I can now equip that while in the main menu as well. Right now I can only equip my weapon however they're going to be adding pets accessories and other such items to the game down the line so you'll be able to fully equip your character as well as power it up and buff it enchant it make yourself more powerful to get you to those further floors and the rare items as you get further and further into this game the dungeons become quite maze-like and hard to find your way through and the enemies become quite powerful there is no way to leave in the middle of a dungeon. Once you begin it, you have to find your way to the end or die trying. And if you die while in the middle, you do not earn or get to keep any of the items that you got in the chest while playing. So if you start a run or start uh, you know, a floor, you need to make sure to finish it if you want to claim any of the items that you got in the game, which definitely gives you incentive to look through the chests and find potions, as well as fight the monsters and finish the floor once you have begun, so that way you do not die and, say, lose a rare or a legendary item 
that you could have earned and received in your engine wallet just because you lost your health and lost to an enemy. As you can see, in the top right corner of the screen, there is a mini-map to help you find your way through these levels. Uh, it does not show you any enemies, doors, or chests. It just shows you your current location and parts of the map that you have already discovered. It is definitely helpful once you get into the further levels of the game because, as I said, they are very maze-like. So you will get lost very easily, and it's nice to see where you have been to make sure you don't repeat your location or any areas that you haven't discovered so you can go and find them and unlock them on the map and help you you know slowly inch your way towards the doors and move on to the next level as i said if you do not make it to the final doors and either move on to the next level or exit to the main menu and claim your items you will not be able to claim the items so anything that you have earned in your inventory will be lost permanently so it's definitely helpful so you don't just get stuck halfway through and decide to give up you can use it to help find your way out of those dead ends to the doors and on to the main menu so you can claim your items and finish playing successfully so this right here is very early access gameplay this doesn't even include the stampede event which is still upcoming they're doing it in a few phases where they add in engine items to the chest for people to discover until they are all gone now this can also change very drastically up until the final release adding in a bunch more events items in you know from enemies and other ways to earn these assets as well as upgrades skills and a bunch of other abilities so definitely don't consider this anywhere near the final product however as it continues to develop there will be much more items to earn and much more content in it and it already has quite a bit of content I gotta say I absolutely love the detail in the maps and levels I love the variety of the enemies not just the color variation but the different types that they have as you can see they have these type of uh, lizard creatures here I'm not sure exactly what to call any of them they also have those bandits that can shoot fire those uh, magicians and that's all very exciting and I've seen a few other types of enemies on their website as well so I know they plan on adding a bunch more down the line so that's gonna be awesome to see once it occurs now the stampede chest is currently live and it is going to be for sale uh, for the foreseeable future until they decide not to sell it anymore I guess until they raise enough money to either close down the alpha or the event or to actually launch the game now, I'm not certain if this game's going to be free to play at launch or if there's going to be some sort of initial price. However, this chest is $25. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning. USD, 0.1 Ether, or 164 engines. So it's all roughly the same price overall. So uh, not too much to get access to the game. And since you can already start, er uh, start earning items in the game, you can uh, you know get rare or legendary items that you can already trade with other players or melt down into their engine value and potentially get a return on investment in the game already so as you can see here I am just kind of running straight through gathering as many enemies as I can collecting them all up and as I mentioned before once they see you they will not stop chasing you so I'm just going as far out as I can running you know wherever I can trying to hoard them all into one corral and as you can see here they are going to all swarm into this room and start attacking me until either I am dead or they are dead and when there is more than one they all attack in tandem so your health goes down incrementally more than if you were just fighting them one at a time so I don't expect to survive this but you know I'm having fun checking it out and uh, you know fighting against the enemies I'd really like for them to be able to drop something however the chests are quite plentiful you can find quite a few of them in the game and get yourself some pretty rare items right off the bat so that's pretty much it for this video at the moment I'll definitely be back with some more content down the line as soon as there is another update or I get something that I definitely want to show you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. So, peace out.